Hello 3D printing friends, today on the BV3D channel we'll find out if it's faster to print four of a model at one time or one of a model four times in a row. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to find out if it's faster to print four of a model at one time or print one of a model four times in a row. This question was posed by channel member David Thomas and my answer to him was that I don't think it's faster to print one thing four times than it is to print four of that thing at once. But that got me thinking, is it faster one way or the other? Well, there's only one way to find out with science. So how do you do science? With the scientific method. I'll use a simplified version of it here. You start by making observations. For instance, I have observed that starting from the time a 3D printer begins the actual process of putting down filament on the bed all the way until it finishes the final layer. The amount of time required is always the same when printing that file. No matter how many times I print that file, it always takes the same amount of time to finish. So the next step is to come up with a question. So the question is, what's faster, printing one model four times in a row or printing four of that model at once on the printer? Then you develop a hypothesis or a prediction. So my prediction is that adding up the time needed to print one file four times will be equal to the amount of time required to print a file containing four of that model at one time. Now my hypothesis is based on my observation that it always takes the same amount of time for the printer to complete all the moves necessary to print a particular model. My thinking is that if four copies of the model are on the build plate, the printer still has to make all the same moves just in four different locations. So I predict that it'll take the same amount of time or at least close enough that it wouldn't really make a difference. Next, we conduct an experiment to test that hypothesis and record the results of the experiment. And the experiment here is going to be easy to do. I'm going to put a single chip cube in the slicer and then slice it and save it to a micro SD card. Then I'll put four chip cubes in the slicer and slice with the same settings as the single cube and save that file to the micro SD card. Now the settings themselves aren't particularly important. The important thing is that you use the same settings for both the four up and the single cube. I'll print the single chip cube four times and log the elapsed print times as reported on the printer's screen. Then I'll print the file containing four chip cubes and I'll log that time. For every print, I'm starting with the bed and nozzle already at printing temperature, so heat up time won't factor into the measurements. Then I'll add up the four single cube print times and we can compare that to the four at once print time. After that, we can draw conclusions from the experiment and we'll have our results. So now it's time to conduct the experiment. Here's the first print of the single chip cube and it finished in 34 minutes, 25 seconds. Here's the second print of the single chip cube finishing in 34 minutes and 22 seconds. The third print of the single chip cube finished in the same amount of time, 34 minutes and 22 seconds. And the fourth print of the single chip cube finished in 34 minutes and 23 seconds. So each of these finished within a couple of seconds of each other, which is what I expected to see. Now, here's the four chip cubes at once file. That one finished in two hours, 11 minutes and 24 seconds. So let's add up all the print times for the single cubes. That comes out to two hours, 17 minutes and 32 seconds. Huh, what do you know? The results of our experiment show it's about six minutes faster to print the four models at once. I guess now we have the answer. So why do you think it takes slightly longer to print four of them at one time? Maybe it's the tiny extra bit of time it takes to draw four priming lines and four skirts around the prints instead of doing just one, along with the extra time it takes to move the bed forward and the gantry up at the end of the print four times instead of just once. I'll leave that up to you to ponder and maybe apply a bit of scientific method to the question. And if you do that, report your findings down in the comments. I'd love to know what you come up with. 
Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.